What's up everybody? So today we are going to be packing for my trip to Houston, Texas. So I bought six vintage motorcycles, all two strokes. Really, really sweet bikes. I can't wait to show you uh, as time goes on here. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be packing up for the trip, getting everything ready and uh, come along with me here. First thing we're gonna start with, filling up this sweet Harbor Freight bag I got for like 10 bucks. We're gonna put some tools in it, different things like that. We got some various uh, equipment here to uh, put in there. So let's uh, let's get started. Tin steps, pretty good. Your pliers, pretty good. Gotta have the vice grips, baby. Throw them in there. I don't know, probably some needle noses, just in case. Gotta have your crescent wrenches. Those are always good to have. Yeah, I think that's enough for this drawer. Let's go to, oh, don't want that one. Let's go to this one. We want some ratchets for sure. Snap-on ratchet, probably good. Quarter inch would be probably be fine too. Throw that in the bag. Also, screwdrivers. What do we want here? On a Phillips head, maybe one of these, little short ones. Throw them in the bag. So then, let's work here. We want one of these big batteries. We want this gun, and uh, let's get these all uh, hooked up here. What else is next? Definitely want to be packing one of these. So this is a uh, just a whole set of sockets. Be a good one to have. Oh, definitely bringing one of these. This is so. This is pretty sweet here. Bringing this definitely. Another thing I'm going to be grabbing here is this extension cord because we are going to bring the compressor over here. I don't know if these bikes have the tires aired up or not, but we're going to be getting that out of here in a second. Get this sucker moved out of here. Now let's roll the compressor. Out. Definitely want to have a hammer. I don't know if I need a BFH here, but that'll work anyway. Nonetheless, and we'll bring a rubber mallet just in case too. You never know. Rubber mallets are sweet. Might need it. Allen heads. We'll just throw an Allen head set in the bag too. Tape measure. Always could need one of those. Zip ties, absolutely bringing my zip ties. I got a couple big bags of zip ties here. That would be really good to have. And then I forgot my quarter inch set. That would be good to have. Paint markers too, never know. But you might need the mark. Beautiful. So we will need to get one of these and one of these. This will definitely want to uh, bring this with. I'll do a review on that later. Also, need the knife. Let's get everything thrown in our bag here. Alright, so that little kit is done. I am just going to set that off to the side. Boom, boom, boom. Other thing I'm going to grab is my jack there, as you can see. Never know, might need a jack. And then uh, last but not least, I'm grabbing my charger. All right, yep, that's all we're going up. Stuff that in there, stuff that in there. Stuff that in there. Definitely need a pair of gloves. Extension cord to have in there. Boom chakalaka, that's all in there. Get my gun. Little charger, battery charger in case. Beauty, let's cap the lid on that son of a gun. Get her in the truck. Boom. Also, one of the other mighty fine things we have to do is fill the truck up with some gov juice, otherwise known as Blue Def, which comes from the EPA or the Environmental Police Academy. Dang, got 
Hoverman Druis. God, I hate this stuff so much. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Well, there it is, gurgling. This stuff makes an absolute mess too. If you spill it on the ground, definitely do not want to do that. And hopefully I don't. Oh, better get a rag. Better get a rag. Of course, you know how it goes. This stuff smells like booty too. Get back in. Can't be healthy. So the last thing I need to do is go ahead and get the truck all filled up and get the rental trailer. Won't be getting that the trailer for like a day. I have a work trip I gotta run out to and then come back. After that, we'll be on the way out to. So the next thing we'll be doing is going to get the rental trailer and filling up the truck. Woo, stay tuned. Day two, gonna go put a little bit of fuel in the truck, get this thing uh, all prim and proper. Maybe I'll air up the tires a little bit, but uh, getting ready for the trip, man. The uh, trailer rental company, I guess, is going to drop off the trailer. They had a uh, late delivery, so I uh, won't be getting the trailer until really late tonight. So let's go put some fuel in the truck. Woo! Got the fuel in the truck here. We're going back to the house and we'll park it tonight, get everything all packed up, and the next you'll see of me is uh, hauling down the road, going to Houston, Texas. To On the road, boys, let's go. Let's get them motorcycles. On the road and trucking. Going to get me a motorcycle or two. So what you're seeing now is clips of us actually loading up the bikes. I got too excited, totally forgot to film. So that one's the Kawasaki 750 there, the H2. Uh, this one here is the GT750, pretty dang sweet bike. So this is what the uh, shop looked like inside. Literally the RD400 GT380 sitting there. You have the RZ350 in the back, and those two behind that are the GT550s. Uh, one of them's a parts bike, so it's kind of a little raunchy, but uh, get to see them sitting where they were. This is me uh, tearing up the bike here. The uh, Every single front brake on these machines had issues they were locked up uh, something to that effect so I had to break out my tools every tool I brought I used here I'm breaking out the hammer soft mallet hammer trying to get that to uh, move loosened it up now so I rented a 16 by 7 trailer so this is actually showing me <laughs> putting a motorcycle in backwards uh, we put three wide and one one sideways and we're able to get seven bikes in there total. Crazy. So from here on I loaded up all the bikes and headed toward Florida. Well boys and girls we are locked and loaded on the road headed back to Florida. Can't wait to uh, show you guys these bikes and tell you all about them and um, yeah be pretty cool. So see you when we get to Florida. Alrighty everybody, so the moment of truth, I made it home last night after 16 hours of driving from Texas, didn't get videos of unloading the bikes, I was so exhausted, but you gotta check this out, you guys aren't even gonna believe this. This is now my garage. 
Kawasaki H2 Mach 4, RD400, GT750, that's a water buffalo, GT550 over there with a parts bike, GT380, and of course, last but not least, the RZ350. These bikes are so cool. All vintage two strokes. Some of them are triples, some of them are doubles, some of them are quads, quad exhaust. I mean, it is the coolest collection I think I've gotten. Got my hands full. I'm super overwhelmed with things to do, um, but, but follow along. There's gonna be so many more videos to come of me getting these things running, maintaining them, uh, just bringing, back, bringing them back to what they were supposed to be, so yeah. Follow along, guys. It's going to be a great, great journey. Thanks.